This video demonstrates the semi-automated sample transfer of 4-inch wafer holders with a robotic arm. The system features highly reliable transfers with few operator interactions, a remote-controlled process, interlocks to secure safe operation of the cluster system, and convenient access to X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy measurements after ALD growth cycles. This cluster system consists of a radial distribution chamber for semi-automatic sample transfer, a load lock for sample introduction, an atomic layer deposition system for thin film growth, and an X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy system for sample characterization. The sample transfer typically starts in the load lock chamber. Here, up to four wafer holders with four inch size can be mounted in the storage. After establishing a suitable vacuum in the chamber, the transfer can be initiated. The UHV gate valve opens and the wafer fork acceptor, the head of the robotic arm, drives into the chamber. When the fork acceptor is in the reception position, the wafer can be placed on it by lowering the sample storage. The storage is then repositioned to a valid height to retract the robotic arm into the radial distribution chamber. When the arm is retracted, the UHV gate valve will close, and with that, the unloading process is completed. The next transfer process will demonstrate how the wafer holder is loaded onto the XPS lab manipulator. After initializing the sample loading process, the robotic arm rotates towards the connection flange of the XPS lab system. When both the XPS manipulator and the robotic arm are in position, the UHV gate valve opens and subsequently the arm extends into the XPS lab chamber. The arm stops at a standby position, waiting for the user to verify that the transfer shall proceed. After confirmation, the wafer holder is positioned above the manipulator. Then, the XPS manipulator is lifted in order to hand over the wafer holder from the fork acceptor. Finally, the empty fork is retracted to the radial distribution chamber. After the fork is retracted far enough back, the XPS manipulator can be relocated to the measurement position. In this video, we have chosen an illustrative position to demonstrate the motion of all five motorized axes. Once the measurement position is reached, the XPS analysis can be initiated. Here, you can see an example XPS survey spectrum of a self-assembled monolayer on a copper surface. The survey scan gives a good overview of the elements present at the sample surface. Elemental composition and chemical states can be analyzed in more detail from high resolution spectra, as shown in the insert in the top right. After the sample analysis is completed, the unloading procedure of the wafer holder can be requested. Then, the robotic arm in the radial distribution chamber is brought to the transfer position, while the XPS manipulator is relocated into the handover position. When all required prerequisites, like position and pressure threshold, are satisfied, the UHV gate valve is opened and the robotic arm extends into the XPS analysis chamber.
As soon as the wafer fork is positioned below the sample in the transfer position, the XPS manipulator is lowered until the wafer holder is placed on the fork acceptor and safe retraction of the arm is enabled. The arm then retracts back into the radial distribution chamber. The last transfer procedure demonstrates how the wafer holder is loaded to the sample storage in the load lock. After initializing the sample loading process, the robotic arm rotates towards the connection flange to the load lock. When the robotic arm is in position, the UHV gate valve opens and subsequently the arm extends into the load lock chamber. When the fork acceptor is in storage transfer position, the wafer can be placed in the sample storage shelf by lifting the sample storage. The storage is then repositioned to a valid height to retract the robotic arm into the radial distribution chamber. When the arm is retracted, the UHV gate valve closes and with that, the loading procedure is complete. Thanks for watching and please contact Cianta Omicron if you would like to learn more about this system.